This is a book that I've made that's entirely or nearly all uh, from antique and vintage ribbons, buttons, uh, beads that I purchased from a friend in California. Most of the items are from the 1920s, <clears throat> excuse me, 30s, late 40s, maybe early 50s. Her dad had purchased a store that dealt with costume um, accessories in Southern California in Los Angeles and he it was a store buyout the store was going out of business and he bought it for his wife for her birthday in 1962 and these are items that their daughter has saved all these years and I have purchased them from her I made the covers of this journal uh, entirely from the ribbons that um, she had sent to me the wonderful uh, moiré taffeta silk ribbon uh, has a little shoe buckle on it and both the front and the back covers are made from this uh, ribbon. When I bound the book I used old buttons, a few new buttons, some laces and some modern ribbons to tie in just to give it a little bit of an accent. So when the book is opened these are all um, Swarovski crystals that I've sewn on and I decided to just embellish with some of the uh, old beads that I purchased and a few new ones. These are new, the green is new. These are all from the stash that I purchased from my friend and they're wonderful costume accessories. Uh, most of these items came from Paris, Germany, Czechoslovakia, uh, France and Belgium. I did use modern fabrics as a just sort of as a accent the laces are a combination of uh, real antique and also some vintage. I also used modern batik fabrics to back the beading that I had done. I just did free motion sewing around here and then decorative sewing with my machine. Made a pocket. There are pages that are from Stonehenge, they're Stonehenge watercolor paper so that I can draw or paint or write whatever, but I decided to simply embellish for now with the laces and with pockets. These are some of the vintage ribbons. I love this. I think this one is from France. I made another pocket here. And this is the end of the first signature or section. I did a free motion sewing of some lavender and a moon. This is one of my vintage pins that I had in my collection because I love to collect rhinestone glittery things, hence the glitzo in my name. Uh, and then I uh, sewed the beads for the lavender. I sewed on all these tiny Swarovski crystals and then these are glued on because they don't have a sewing mechanism. I use uh, the liquid fusion glue, I just love it. These are glued on, these are sewn on, they're all wonderful costume embellishments, these are check beads. And then some antique laces along with the modern batiks. More antique lace. I made another pocket. This was just some uh, monoprinting that I had done on some Stonehenge paper. And I did a little free motion curly cue on this page. More of the black lace. Another open pocket here. I'll put laces, ribbons, pictures. I'm not sure what will go in. Uh, some wonderful vintage French velvet along with the batiks that I used and I just did a free motion sew on the back of that signature. Here's a uh, fanciful sunflower and with the leaves that I sewed. These are supposed to be the mountains in our area mimicking our peak called Roxy Ann. Some lace. This was actually from a shawl of my mother's and I put it over the batik. I loved it. Another pocket with some antique lace. I love to use zippers in books, and here is a zipper pocket to put little secret things in. This is antique lace. This is from about maybe 30 years ago that I purchased, and it's a stretch lace seam binding, and it worked out perfectly. I love sewing items, and I'll get them, and then I never use them, but now I'm using them. This is the back of a pocket page. It got just a slight warp because of the thickness of the paper when I was sewing it. And this is another um, monoprint that I did. 
And here we have the back of the signature. These are antique laces and another flower that I did free motion sewing and then beaded with the beads that I got in this uh, stash of wonderful stuff. This is a fanciful flower. More batiks with antique lace and wonderful French seam binding ribbon. And this is a piece of French ribbon. It's a, a taffeta moire the, a plaid that I love with my monoprint pocket. More Stonehenge paper with some French ribbons, lace, some more lace and pocket, and a monoprint page that I left as is. And this signature ends with some wonderful batik and more antique lace. And then I did the I did a free motion sewing of a star and these flowers. These are all the vintage Swarovskis. And these are the like the two hole beads they used in costumes. And I <laughs> she sent me a gift of these rhinestone initial pins, and these are my initials for Corinne Stubson. So I decided that was the flower and also my signature at the end of the journal. And it closes, and here are more of the wonderful ribbons that you can see. I love this blue flower one and the moiré. This is, these are all mostly French ribbons. The spine is, has the buttons that help to sew on the various sections, the signatures of the book, and I tied laces and ribbons. Um, nearly all of these buttons are vintage, but a few are new. This one is new, and um, I don't know, maybe that's the only one that's new, but I just love putting them on to, to decorate. So this will hold vintage items, sewing or otherwise, and it was a lot of fun to make, and it's also a reminder of my friend that I got the collection from, and uh, it's a good composite of the materials that I have on hand. Thanks for watching.